As Sarah listened to their conversation, a cold fury swept over her. How did Mara betray her trust like this? Anger boiled within her, fueling her desire for revenge. She vowed to make Mara's life a living hell for betraying her secrets. Once upon a time, in a cozy little town, in a bustling city, there lived two inseparable best friends named Sarah and Mara. They were like two peas in a pod, always by each other's side, through thick and thin. Sarah was the daughter of wealthy parents, while Mara's family didn't have as much money, but their friendship knew no bounds. Since Mara was just a little girl of two, she and her mother had been living in Sarah's family house. Mara's mother worked as a housekeeper for Sarah's parents, Mr. and Mrs. Daniel. From the moment they met, Sarah and Mara became the closest of friends, attending the same school and even dressing alike so much that people often mistook them for twins. As they grew older, their bond only grew stronger. They shared everything, from their deepest secrets which part under Sarah's bed, to their widest dreams of the future. No matter what, they always did things together, filled with love and laughter. One sunny afternoon, as they walked down from school, hand in hand, Mara and Sarah, with a mischievous grin, Hey Sarah, do you remember the time we tried to bake cookies? without a recipe, and they turned out as hard as rock. Sarah giggled, remembering the disaster all too well. Of course, Mara, we had to use them as paperweights for weeks. Their laughter echoed through the quiet streets as they continued to their journey home, their hearts light and full of joy. But as they reached the doorstep of Sarah's grand house, a shadow of worry crossed Mara's face. She hesitated before speaking softly. Sarah, do you ever wonder what the future holds for us? I mean, we have always been together, but... Sarah squeezed Mara's hand reassuringly. Don't worry, Mara. No matter what happens, we will always be best friends. Nothing can change anything. And with those words... They stepped inside, ready to face whatever adventures life had in store for them together. As senior year rolled around, Mara and Sarah found themselves facing a new challenge. Being separated in different classes, Mara was placed in the art class, while Sarah ended up in the science class. At first, they felt a pang of sadness had not been together, but they knew they had to focus on doing well in their studies. During break periods, they would eagerly seek each other out, sharing stories of their classes and laughing at the day's events. They continued to walk home together after school. Their bond was strong as ever. However, as time went on, Sarah started to make new friends from her science class. Mara couldn't help but feel a twinge of jealousy, worried that this new friend might come between them. But Sarah reassured her, promising that nothing could ever replace their friendship. Despite Sarah's reassurances, Mara couldn't shake the feeling of being left out. She missed the days when it was just her and Sarah, sharing secrets and dreams without anyone else around. One day, during lunch break, Mara waited for Sarah as usual, but she never showed up. Feeling hot and alone, Mara wandered the school grounds, searching for her friend. When she finally found Sarah, she couldn't help but voice her frustration. Sarah, why didn't you come for break? I waited for you, but you never showed up. Mara said, her voice tinged with sadness. Sarah looked apologetic. I'm so sorry, Mara. I got caught up with my new friends from the science class. I didn't mean to leave you hanging. Mara sighed, 
feeling a mix of disappointment and understanding. It's okay, Sarah. Just promise me that we'll always make time for each other. Sarah nodded earnestly. I promise, Mara. You will always be my best friend, no matter what. That evening, as they walked home together, Sarah couldn't contain their excitement as she told Mara about a new student in her science class named Ethan. She described him as handsome, but Mara couldn't tell but sees her friend. Oh, Sarah, do you have a crush on him? Mara teased, nudging Sarah playfully. Sarah laughed, shaking her head. No way. I can't like anyone until after high school. Besides, you are my number one best friend. Mara grinned, feeling reassured by Sarah's words. As they continued on their way home, the two friends walked side by side, their laughter echoing through the quiet streets, their bonds stronger than ever. Weeks passed, and Mara noticed a troubling change in Sarah. Her best friend had become distant, always surrounded by her new friends, and hardly bothering to check up on Mara anymore. Each day, Mara would wait for Sarah after school, hoping for her familiar smile and reassuring presence. But more often than not, Sarah would brush her off, saying she was going out with her friends and that Mara should go home alone. Feeling abandoned and lonely, Mara trudged home by herself day after day. Even when Sarah returned home late at night, reeking of alcohol and refusing to speak to Mara, Mara would make excuses for her, telling Sarah's worried parents that she was working on school projects after hours. But Mara's heart ached as she watched her best friend spiral down a dangerous path. Influenced by her new companions, she longed to reach out and offer Sarah guidance, but Sarah pushed her away, warning her to stay out of it. Unable to bear the distance growing between them, Mara confided in her mother, pouring out her worries about Sarah's behavior. Mara's mother listened with a heavy heart, advising her daughter to tread carefully and avoid causing any rifts with Sarah's family by speaking out. Despite her mother's counsel, Mara couldn't shake the feeling of helplessness as she watched Sarah drift further and further away. She missed the days when they were inseparable sharing their hopes and dreams without a care in the world. One day, unable to contain her concern any longer, Mara confronted Sarah, her voice trembling with emotion. Sarah, please, you have to stop hanging out with those bad friends. They are leading you down a dangerous path, and I don't want to see you get hurt. Sarah looked at Mara with a hint of amusement in her eyes. A sad smile playing on her lips. Oh, Mara, you worry too much. What's the worst that could happen? Mara's heart sank as she realized the extent of Sarah's denial. With a heavy sigh, she pleaded once more. Please, Sarah, I'm only trying to help you. You're my best friend, and I care about you. But Sarah's smile faded, replaced by a cold glare. I dare you to tell my parents about it, she said, her voice dripping with defiance. With those words, Sarah turned and walked away, leaving Mara standing alone, tears warming up in her eyes as she watched her best friend disappear into the distance. Mara couldn't help but feel a sense of despair wash over her. As Sarah's life took a downward spiral, Mara couldn't only watch with a heavy heart. At just 16, Sarah began smoking and drinking, her greed sleeping with each passing day. Her once bright future seemed to dim with each puff of smoke and sip of alcohol. Her parents, understandably furious at her reckless behavior, tried to set her straight, often using Mara as an example of a good, responsible child. But instead of heeding their warnings, Sarah grew resentful, her anger boiling over into hatred towards Mara. Despite the strain on their friendship, Mara couldn't help but worry about Sarah's well-being. 
She knew that beneath the tough exterior, her best friend was hurting, lost in a whirlwind of self-destructive behavior. One afternoon, as Mara walked home from school, dark clouds loomed overhead, threatening to unleash a downpour. Just as the first raindrops began to fall, she heard the familiar sound of bicycle wheels approaching from behind. It was Ethan, the boy from Sarah's science class, pedaling his way home. Hey, Mara, do you need a ride? It's starting to rain. Ethan called out, a friendly smile on his face. At first, Mara hesitated, unsure whether to accept his offer. But as the rain intensified, she nodded gracefully, hopping onto the back of his bicycle. Together, they rode through the rain-soaked streets, laughter mingling with the sound of rainfall. The next day at school, Mara decided to thank Ethan for his kindness, and she made her way to the science class. She spotted Sarah and her friends in the hallway. Ignoring their stares, she approached Ethan and expressed her gratitude. Hey, Ethan, I just wanted to say thank you for yesterday. You really saved me from getting drenched in the rain, Mara said, smiling warmly. Ethan returned her smile, his eyes twinkling with kindness. No problem, Mara. Anytime you need a ride, just let me know. We can ride together again. With a grateful nod, Mara turned to leave the science class, her heart feeling lighter than it had in weeks. But before she could take another step, Sarah's voice caught through the air like a sharp blade. What were you doing with Elton? Sarah demanded, her tone laced with venom. Mara's smile faltered as she turned to face her friend trying to explain what had happened. I was just thanking him for giving me a ride home yesterday, Sarah, that's all. But Sarah's eyes flashed with anger. Her fists clenched at her sides. Stay away from him, Mara, unless you want trouble. With that, Sarah angrily shoved Mara aside and stormed off, leaving Mara standing alone in the hallway her heart heavy with confusion and sadness. Despite her best effort to understand, Mara couldn't shake the feeling that something had changed between them. With a heavy sigh, she quietly made her way to her next class, hoping that someday things would go back to the way they used to be. As Sarah and Mara continued to drift apart, Mara grew increasingly worried of watching her friend spiral out of control. She couldn't bear to stand idly by any longer, witnessing Sarah's self-destructive behavior. Determined to intervene, Mara made a difficult decision to confide in Sarah's parents about their daughter's reckless lifestyle. Summoning all her courage, Mara approached Sarah's parents one evening after school with a heavy heart and trembling hands. She recounted the painful truth about Sarah's habits. How she smoked, drank, and partied with her friends every day after school. Tears welled up in Mara's eyes as she pleaded with them to help Sarah before it was too late. That night, as Sarah returned home, she was met with a storm of anger from her parents. They wasted no time in confronting her about her behavior. Their disappointment palpable in the air. They recounted Mara's words, revealing that they knew everything about Sarah's secret life. Sarah's heart sank as her parents laid down the consequences of her actions. They confiscated her phone, laptop, and cut off her allowance. They grounded her, forbidding her from leaving the house until she showed signs of changing her ways. Fury burned within Sarah's chest as she listened to her parents' words. How could Mara betray her like this? She seated with anger, feeling betrayed and abandoned by her once close friend. But despite her rage, she knew she had no choice but to obey her parents' strict rules. Later that evening, 
as Sarah seated with anger in her room, she overheard voices drifting in from the hallway. Peering out from behind her door, she saw Mara talking with her mother. Their voices hushed or filled with gratitude. Thank you, Mara, for telling us about Sarah's lifestyle. We had no idea she was struggling like this. Sarah's mother said, her voice filled with genuine concern. Mara nodded solemnly. I just couldn't stand by and watch her destroy herself. I hope she understands that I only did it because I care about her. As Sarah listened to their conversation, a cold fury swept over her. How did Mara betray her trust like this? Anger boiled within her, fueling her desire for revenge. She vowed to make Mara's life a living hell for betraying her secrets. Quietly sitting with rage, Sarah retreated back into her room, plotting her next move. The next morning, Sarah eagerly dressed for school, hoping to escape the confines of her room and the weight of her parents' strict punishment. But as she made her way downstairs, her parents intercepted her. Their expressions stern and unwavering. Sarah, you are grounded. You won't be going to school for a week and you will sign these papers promising never to drink or smoke again, her father declared, holding out a pen and a piece of paper. Sarah's anger fled at the injustice of it all. How dare they confine her like this, dictating her every move? With a furious shout, she stormed back to her room, slamming the door with all her mind. Mara stood in the doorway, watching her friend outburst with a heavy heart. She couldn't help but feel guilty for causing Sarah so much pain. But she knew she had done the right thing, even if it meant sacrificing their friendship. Throughout the week, Sarah remained holed up in her room, her anger festering like a storm cloud overhead. Mara's mother tried to intervene, urging Mara to apologize to Sarah and mend their fractured relationship. But Mara stood firm, refusing to back down from her decision. At school, Mara found solace in her newfound friendship with Elton. They bonded quickly. Their shared laughter and easy camaraderie, easing Mara's troubled mind. Each day after school, Elton would ride his bicycle with Mara on the back. Their shared moment of freedom, a welcome respite from the turmoil at home. Meanwhile, Sarah watched their friendship with growing resentment, her heart burning with jealousy and anger. She felt betrayed by Mara, convinced that she had stolen the only boy she had ever loved and turned her parents against her. One fateful afternoon, Mara returned home from school to find Sarah sitting in the living room, her expression cold and distant. Despite the tension in the air, Mara mustered up the courage to approach her friend, hoping to mend their fractured relationship. Hey Sarah, how was your day? Mara asked, her voice laced with concern. But before she could say another word, Sarah erupted in a fit of rage, lashing out at Mara with words as sharp as knives. With a swift emotion, she slapped Mara across the face and pushed her away, her eyes burning with fury. Stay away from me, Mara. You are a terrible friend. You stole Ethan from me, made my parents hate me, and caused me nothing but pain. I will make sure you pay for what you have done. Sarah spat, her voice trembling with anger. With that, she stomped off to her room, slamming the door shut with a resounding thud. Mara stood frozen in shock, her heart heavy with sorrow. Tears welled up in her eyes as she realized the extent of the damage their friendship had suffered. As the days passed, Mara wrestled with her emotions, torn between her loyalty to Sarah and her growing feelings for Elton. Unable to bear the guilt any longer, she made a difficult decision to talk to Elton about Sarah's feelings for him. One afternoon, 
Mara found Ethan sitting alone under a tree, lost in thought. Summoning all her courage, she approached him and began to speak, her voice trembling with uncertainty. Ethan, I need to tell you something. Sarah likes you and she wants to be with you. Mara confessed, her heart heavy with the weight of her words. But Ethan's response took her by surprise. With a sad smile, he shook his head, head and reached out to take Mara's hand. Mara, I appreciate your honesty, but I can't force myself to like someone I don't have feelings for. The truth is, I have fallen for you. Ethan admitted, his eyes filled with sincerity. Mara's heart fluttered at his words, but fear gripped her tightly. She knew that pursuing a relationship with Ethan would only deepen the rift between her and Sarah. Despite her own feelings, Mara was willing to sacrifice her happiness for the sake of friendship. I'm sorry, Ethan, but I don't feel the same way. We can't be together. Mara replied, her voice trembling with emotion. With a heavy heart, Ethan watched Mara walk away, his own feelings of disappointment and longing swelling within him. Deep down, he knew that Mara was lying to herself, unable to admit her true feelings for him. Meanwhile, Sarah remained holed up in her room, nursing her wounded pride and sitting with jealousy at the thought of Mara and Ethan together. Each passing day only felt her anger. Her resentment towards Mara growing stronger with each heartbeat. But as a new week began, Sarah reluctantly emerged from her room. Her resolve to mend her broken friendship with Mara stronger than ever. She dressed for school, signed the papers her parents had given her, and headed off to face the day. At school, Mara tried to avoid Ethan, burying her feelings deep within her heart. But fate had other plans in store for them. As Mara watched from a distance, Sarah approached Ethan with a smile, asking if they could walk to class together. Reluctantly, Ethan agreed, his heart heavy with guilt as he glanced in Mara's direction. Mara felt a pang of sadness as she witnessed the scene unfolding before her eyes, but she reassured herself that it was for the best. After school, Mara continued to make excuses to delay her departure, allowing Sarah to spend time with Ethan without her interference. But little did Mara know, Ethan had other plans in mind. One day, as Sarah and Ethan walked together, Ethan mustered up the courage to confess the truth to Sarah. With a heavy heart, he explained that he didn't have feelings for her and that he liked Mara instead. Sarah's word crumbled around her as Ethan's words sank in. Anger and betrayal surged through her veins, and without a second thought, she lashed out, slapping Ethan across the face before running away, tears streaming down her cheeks. Later that afternoon, Ethan waited for Mara to emerge from the school, his heart heavy with uncertainty. When Mara finally appeared, he approached her with a mixture of hope and fear pouring out his heart and soul to her. Mara, I know you are scared, but we can't deny our feelings for each other any longer. Please, give us a chance to be together. Ethan pleaded, his eyes searching hers for a sign of acceptance. Mara's heart swelled with emotion as she listened to Ethan's words. Despite the risks and challenges that lay ahead, she knew that she couldn't ignore the love that bloomed between them. With tears of joy in her eyes, she embraced Ethan tightly, knowing that together they could overcome anything that stood in their way. And so, as the sun set on another day, Mara and Ethan took their first step towards the future, filled with love and possibility, leaving behind the shadows of their past as they embraced the light of a new beginning. As Sarah's hatred for Mara festered and grew, she began to devise a sinister plan to exact revenge on her former friend. Gathering her bad friends, Sarah wished bad venomous lies about Mara's supposed betrayal, painting her as a deceitful traitor. With her friends by her side, 
Sarah approached Mara one day, wearing a mask of false contrition. Mara, I'm so sorry for everything. I want us to make peace and be friends again. Sarah said, her voice dripping with insincerity, overwhelmed with relief and joy at the prospect of reconciling with her best friend. Mara eagerly accepted Sarah's apology and embraced her tightly. Little did she know, Sarah's gesture of friendship was nothing more than a cruel facet, hiding her true intentions. The following day, as Mara and Sarah made their way to school together, Sarah suggested they make a quick stop at a friend's house. Mara, unsuspecting of any ulterior motive, agreed without hesitation. As they approached the house, Sarah's demeanor changed, her eyes gleaming with malice. With a swift emotion, she produced a handkerchief soaked with a mysterious substance and pressed it against Mara's face. Within moments, Mara's vision blurred and darkness enveloped her as she slipped into unconsciousness. Mara's world turned upside down in the cruelest of ways. Sarah and her friends, fired by jealousy and spite, paid the boy to pretend to that he was making out with Mara, and soon, Sarah and her friends started taking pictures of Mara and the boy. These pictures were then circulated around the school spreading like wildfire through their class group charts. As Mara lay unconscious, she was on, on her way of the storm brewing around her and whispers echoing through the school halls, students filled by a sea of mocking faces, laughter ringing like a cruel symphony. Some pointed fingers, others called her hurtful names like pretender and whore. Meanwhile, Ethan caught wind of the scandal unfolding at school. His heart sank as he saw the pictures of Mara, her innocence tarnished by the cruel actions of others. Disappointed, an anger churned within him, and without a word, he turned and left school, unable to bear the sight of Mara's humiliation. By the time Mara regained consciousness from the shock, she found herself disoriented and lost. Panic surged through her veins as she struggled to make sense of her surroundings. With trembling hands and a racing heart, she managed to stumble out of the unfamiliar place and onto the street. As Mara made her way home, her mind raced with questions and fear. Where was Sarah? What had happened to her? But with each step, Mara's anxiety only grew, fueled by the cruel towns and laughter of her bears. The journey home felt endless, each passing moment filled with agony and uncertainty. Mara's heart weighed heavy with the burden of humiliation, her spirit crushed beneath the weight of betrayal. Finally, as Mara reached her doorstep, she burst through the door, tears streaming down her cheeks. Frantically, she sat for answers, calling out for her friends, but Sarah was nowhere to be found. Instead, Mara was met with the solemn face of her mother, her eyes filled with concern and worry. With trembling lips, Mara tried to explain what had happened, but the words caught in her throat, suffocated and shame and sorrow. As Mara's mom wrapped her in a comforting embrace, she vowed to stand by her side and support her through this ordeal. Together, they would face the cruelty of the world outside and emerge stronger their love and resilience shining bright in the face of darkness. As night fell and the shadows grew long, Sarah returned home, a triumphant smile playing on her lips. But as Mara approached her with trembling hands and tear-streaked cheeks, her heart heavy with pain, she couldn't help but feel a sense of dread gnawing at her inside. Sarah, please, I need to know why you did this to me. Mara pleaded, her voice barely above a whisper. But instead of remorse or regret, Sarah's laughter echoed through the hallway, cold and cruel. With a smile, she brushed past Mara, her words dripping with malice. My revenge has just begun. Mara, you will pay for every ounce of pain you cost me. Sarah taunted, her voice laced with venom. 
Mara's heart shattered into a million pieces as she watched Sarah disappear into her room, the door slamming shut with finality. Left alone in the hallway, Mara's tears flowed freely, her pain too great to bear. Inside their room, Mara's mother approached her, concern etched on her face. With gentle hands, she enveloped Mara in a comforting embrace, her heart breaking at the sight of her daughter's pain. We need to tell Sarah's parents the truth about what happened, Mara. They deserve to know. Mara's mother pleaded, her voice filled with urgency. But Mara shook her head, her resolve firm despite her sorrow. No, Mama, please. I can't do that. It will only make things worse. Mara whispered, her voice echoed with emotion. And so, Mara remained silent, her heart heavy with the weight of her secret and sorrow. The following day, as the sun rose in the sky, Mara found herself unable to face the world outside. The humiliation and betrayal weighed heavily on her shoulders, crushing her spirit beneath their weight. She couldn't bring herself to go to school, choosing instead to retreat into the safety of her home. Days turned into weeks and still, Mara remained hidden away, her heart consumed by grief and despair. Despite Ethan's attempt to reach out to her, Mara couldn't bear to face him, her shame too great to bear. Meanwhile, Sarah's attempt to win Ethan's affections fell flat, her desperation palpable in every glance and word. But Ethan remained steadfast, his heart belonging only to Mara, despite the trials they faced. As the final exams approached, Ethan knew that he couldn't ignore the truth any longer, determined to uncover the real story behind Mara's ordeal. He approached Sarah, his gaze unwavering. Sarah, I need to know the truth. If we are to have any chance at being together, you must tell me what really happened. Ethan urged his voice firm. Caught off guard, Sarah hesitated for a moment before finally relenting. Her defense is crumbling under Ethan's unwavering gaze. Unknown to her, the glasses Ethan wore concealed a hidden camera, capturing every word she spoke. With a heavy heart, Sarah confessed to her sins, her voice filled with remorse and regret. But as she finished speaking, she looked up to find Ethan's expression unchanged, his disappointment palpable in the air. Thank you, Sarah. I will see you after school. Ethan said quietly, his voice betraying no emotion as he turned and walked away. Soon, the video of Sarah's confession spread like wildfire through the school's group chat, igniting a fine storm of outrage and sympathy for Mara. As the truth came to light, the students rallied around Mara, offering their support and condemning Sarah's actions. In shame and humiliation, Sarah ran home, her dreams shattered and her reputation tarnished beyond repair. Unable to face the consequences of her actions. As the news of Sarah's deceit spread, the school authorities summoned her parents to discuss the situation. Disappointed and ashamed of their daughter's actions, they made the difficult decision to transfer her to a boarding school abroad. Without a word of farewell to Mara, Sarah left. With Sarah gone, Mara and Ethan's love blossomed, stronger and more resilient than ever before. As they faced their final exams together, their bond forged in the fires of adversity proved unbreakable, guiding them towards the future filled with hope and promise. As the years passed, Mara and Ethan graduated from high school. Mara and Ethan found themselves facing the bittersweet reality of their dreams. With Ethan's departure for studies abroad and Mara's admission to a local university, they knew that their paths would diverge for a time. Yet, they clung to the hope that one day, they would be reunited, their love standing strong against the test of time. With tearful farewells, Mara and Ethan bid each other goodbye, their hearts heavy with the weight of separation. They promised to remain steadfast in their love, believing that distance could never diminish the bond they shared. Meanwhile, Mara's life took on a new rhythm as she settled into university, 
and her mother ran a store in their city. Her mom had left Sarah's home because Sarah's parents had relocated abroad. But Sarah's parents kept supporting Mara and her mother. Though Mara missed Ethan daily, she poured herself into her studies and cherished the memories they had created together. Five long years passed, filled with challenges and triumphs, until Mara found herself on the cusp of a new chapter in her life. As she made her way home from work one day, she heard a familiar voice calling out to her. Turning around, Mara's heart skipped a bit as she saw Sarah standing before her, all grown up. Curiosity mingled with apprehension as Mara hesitated, unsure of how to respond. But as Sarah approached her with tears in her eyes, Mara felt the walls around her heart begin to crumble. With a trembling voice and tear-stained cheeks, Sarah begged Mara for forgiveness. Her words filled with remorse and regret. She reminded Mara of their countless memories they had shared, from their childhood escapades to their secret hideouts and stolen moments of joy. Unable to resist the pull of their shared history, Mara enveloped Sarah in a tight embrace, her heart overflowing with forgiveness and love. Together, they walked to Mara's house, their laughter mingling with tears as they rekindled their friendship. Mara's mother welcomed Sarah with open arms, her heart brimming with joy at the sight of their reconciliation. With tears of gratitude in her eyes, she thanked Sarah for returning to Mara's side, knowing that their bond was stronger than any betrayal. The next day, as Mara and Sarah waited at the airport for Ethan's return, Sarah took the opportunity to apologize to him for the pain she had caused in the past. With a nod of understanding, Ethan accepted her apology, his heart filled with forgiveness and compassion. As they returned home together, Mara couldn't help but feel a sense of completeness wash over her, with Sarah by her side once more and Ethan's return imminent. Mara knew that their reunion was a sign of brighter days ahead. Months passed, filled with laughter, love, and shared memories. As Ethan proposed to Mara, she said yes without hesitation, her heart overflowing with happiness and gratitude. And when Sarah announced her engagement to Samson, a man she had met at school, Mara rejoiced in her friend's newfound happiness. In the end, Mara and Ethan exchanged vows in a beautiful ceremony surrounded by their loved ones, their hearts full and their futures bright. As they embarked on their journey together, hand in hand, they knew that with love, forgiveness and friendship, anything was possible. And so, as the sun set on another chapter of their lives, Mara and Ethan embraced the promise of forever, their love standing as a beacon of hope in a world filled with endless possibilities. The story of Mara and Sarah teaches us about the power of forgiveness, friendship, and love. Despite facing betrayal and heartache, Mara chose to forgive Sarah and rebuild their friendship. This shows us that holding onto anger and resentment only brings more pain. Why forgiveness brings healing and peace. Additionally, Ethan's unwavering support for Mara highlights the importance of standing by those we care about, even in the face of adversity. Ultimately, the story reminds us that love and friendship can overcome any obstacle, and that by choosing kindness and forgiveness, we can create stronger and happier relationships with those around us. Thank you for watching this amazing story about Sarah and Mara on African Stories. If you liked it and felt inspired with your journey, please show your support by clicking the like button, sharing with your friends, and leaving a comment below. To see more interesting stories and learn about different cultures, subscribe to African Stories, and don't forget to ring the notification bell so you never miss a new story. Your support means a lot and helps us bring more stories to you. Until we meet again, stay connected, stay inspired, and keep smiling.